Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to be doing my favorites for the month. And I'm going to start off with um, a hand cream, a very expensive hand cream. Thank you, Miss Lisi, for introducing me to this. This is the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. Looks like this. This little guy is $34. Um, it's 5.1 fluid ounces, but it literally leaves your hands so hydrated and soft and smooth and I have Super dry hands. So for me um, to find something that is this nourishing and hydrating is a pleasure I have three fondi three foundations three foundations that I'm gonna mention the first one is one that I'm pretty much out of that I'm scraping the bottle This is the Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation this is what it looks like as you guys can see i am scraping her clean this foundation is full coverage lightweight um blendable beautiful long wearing and it is amazing i just can't bring myself to repurchase it just yet because i have so many other foundations but this one for sure is one that i will be buying again the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This one I feel like has a learning curve and a little bit goes a long way. So no matter how uh, many times I use this, you'll never go through it, I don't think. Um, I literally squeeze a little drop and then apply it all over and then slowly build it up because this is a very matte full coverage foundation. It is very emollient and creamy, but it sets down quickly. So you have to work pretty fast with this. Um, so I do a very thin layer, let it dry. It dries basically when I'm done with my entire face and then I go in wherever I need it, which is typically my cheeks. But this is an amazing, long wearing, full coverage foundation. You have to use it sparingly because if you go in with a lot, it's going to look very heavy and cakey, but you can definitely manipulate it so it looks thinner and more natural. The final foundation for this month is the Milk Foundation. This is such a beautiful, lightweight, buildable coverage foundation it's medium coverage but you can definitely build it up where you need more coverage which again i'm going to do my cheeks this is fantastic it's smooth it's one of those foundations that you definitely have to set with a powder but it looks like skin it's so lightweight it's really one of my favorite foundations and um I just like to swipe it on and quickly throw it on. On days where I don't want to wear a ton of makeup, but I do want to look like I've made a little bit of an effort, I do like to use that because it's quick and easy and it just looks like pretty skin. I have one concealer, Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Vanish Found Concealer. And the shade that I uh, have been using quite a bit this month is the Beach Shade. Um, actually, it's the shade I've been using for a while now. I gave Sienna a little bit of a rest because I was going through it pretty quickly. Um, but I feel like I am wearing foundations that tend to look a little bit darker. So I like to go in with a lighter foundation to balance that out. And that has been my go-to concealer. It's beautiful, it's creamy. It does not look like you have on a ton of concealer. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't enhance any textures. It is a beautiful, flawless concealer. I have been dying. For these two brushes this is the wayne goss 17 brush this is such a beautiful brush for blending color for packing color um really it's a multi-purpose brush it's so soft but it has just the right amount of density to really um deposit color it is a fantastic brush it's the only wing goss brush i own but it makes me want to get more um and then this refer number 14 it's so tiny. It is absolutely stunning. It does a great job. I use it today at defining the crease. You can cut the crease with this. Um, it really allows you to do just beautiful minor detail work. I want. I bet you I can even run it under my lash line right now with this little bit of pink I have left. And it just makes everything look complete, stunning, um, detailed, and very precise. All right, guys, I have two powders I want to mention. The first one is one that I've mentioned before on my channel, and it's just so good that I have to mention it again. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbl Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. 
This stuff is so beautiful. It just makes your skin look really smooth and filtered. It gives you a little bit of coverage. It's just a beautiful powder. And the other one I have been loving is one that I've recently gotten. I know it's kind of cheating. The Medium Golden by MAC Cosmetics. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I used to use this a ton back in the day. And I remember feeling like this wasn't deep enough but i'm loving it now and i did order medium tan i think medium tan and this one is a little bit on the dark side for me right now it just it looks like it would be a good match but when you apply it to the skin it just makes you look a little bit more bronze so if i have a foundation that's a little bit darker then i will use the lighter the medium plus and um not the medium plus medium golden and then if i have a powder that maybe needs just a little bit more color and warmth then the medium tan is my go-to but this is a beautiful product and again back in the day i used to wear it all the time the hourglass ambient bronze light or i'm sorry radiant bronze light this is such a beautiful bronzer it just gives your skin warmth and glow and it just looks like a beautiful sun-kissed finish it's such a light formula and it's finely milled it looks stunning on the skin and you just don't detect it so it's such a beautiful product the touche clot 3d all over face glow by ysl i am so surprised by this product because i didn't think i was going to love it as much as i do but if you look i've actually started to wear through the um actual imprint on this product and it's just so beautiful it's very like lit from within it has a little bit of a pinky opalescent finish but it's just very subtle um and you really just detect it when you're in direct light otherwise you just you don't see the pink flush but i love it so much it's just really beautiful and if you were on the fence about it because i was when i first found out that it had more of a pink shift than a gold um try it because you will love it the natasha denona love glow cheek palette this is the first of her little cheek palettes that i own i love the highlighter um, i've used it a few times it just gives you a really pretty i have it on today it gives you a really pretty gold highlight finish um, but when you're in direct light it's much more intense if you're outside it looks like you have really intense highlight when you're in just like indoor lighting it looks very soft and natural the blushes are stunning in this palette. Um, some of them have a little bit of a glitter to them, but it's not something that you clearly pick up immediately. Like you have to be super close to see any of the glitter. So they're not, you know, these huge chunks of glitter, but it, there definitely is glitter in this. If you don't like glitter, then you're not gonna love this. I have two eyeshadow palettes I want to mention. I have been using the Natural Matte Milieu palette a ton by um, Visart. It is so beautiful. I love this palette so much. It is just like the perfect neutral matte eyeshadow palette. And it has, you know, these little pops of color. Um, it's just, it's stunning. It's a great everyday staple. But again, you also have a nice little variety of color. You want to talk about color? The Huda Neon Palette. Oh no, one of my shadows broke, how? I'm pressing it back on the bottom one. <sighs> I don't know how though, I didn't drop this. This palette is stunning. It is such a beautiful play on pinks and purple. Um, I have been loving this and the orange one. I've been using those quite a bit. I have this one on today, which is why I'm choosing to reference this one but i love both i think that if you want the pink but you also want the orange the orange is the best option because you get a play of the pinks and orange in that um this one is more of your pinks and purples but honestly they're stunning um they're fun they blend out beautifully they're very pigmented and intense she did a beautiful job with those let's talk blush the patrick ta blushes have quickly taken over my favorites um you guys know that for the longest time i was using the cover fx blushes and i've just been going for these um she sincere is a beautiful muted peach 
and this is just a great color goes with everything and then she's passionate is a peachy rose and this is my fun pop of peach um they're very they're described as like a sheer pigment but honestly i feel like you do get an intense payoff um you just have to build it up i love them i love them i think they're beautiful they're smooth they just look like skin you don't detect them he did such a beautiful job with the formula the packaging everything it's fantastic the other one i want to mention is one that i just got but it, you need this max groovy this is a beautiful orangey coral shade i have been using this so much um again it's a cream to powder formula it blends out beautifully you can layer it on top of other things they are just stunning they did such a beautiful job with this formula and i would say i like this better than their regular um blush formula so beautiful you need this the anastasia brag lash mascara it's fantastic i just did a review on it i know i just started playing with it but i know i love this mascara it builds your lashes it gives you length it gives you volume it's very black and it's 25 dollars, which is fairly reasonable um it's fantastic it doesn't flake it doesn't um, transfer it is amazing i've got two plumping glosses one is the lip maximizer um by dior i'm almost out of this one as you guys can see and this is in the shade rosewood and then my sephora collection lip plumping gloss this is the only shade that they carry now it's what i have on my lips now we're going to touch it up this is a beautiful glossy formula it's a medium consistency so it's not too sticky but it's not thin either it wears really well on the lips it plumps it doesn't last long right it won't last like all day but you'll get a nice plump lip um like as you guys are seeing now love this stuff it and it's just it's not like a really intense tingly feeling it's perfection the fenty liners the fly liners are amazing um i have on the pink today as my liner they're tricky to use if you're wanting to use them to like line your top lash line because it does have a rounded point you're not really able to get precision from it but i've learned to use these with a brush so that i am able to create a wing and have it look decent i'm going to mention colored liners because i'm really into colored liner right now um, i have two by tarte that i really love i have mint which is a mint and then i have fairy wings which is this beautiful lavender color i love these they're very pigmented they're smooth they're easy to use um they last a really long time i've had these for quite a bit and they're just they're amazing so if you guys can still find these i would say go for them or if you're looking for a fun color color gel liner they have some nice colors to choose from i have two cushion liners that you guys need to know about i'm gonna do a tutorial with these i just feel like i do a lot of pinks um and i really want to use this one but i love the orange so i have Vanessa Myrick's cushion liners, cotton candy, which is your pink, and totally tangerine, which is your bright neon um, shades. This is cotton candy pink. Look at that. That is super vivid. And then totally tangerine. Let me show you guys. Love them. They are neon. They are stunning. I will tell you guys, I do have difficulty applying these when I use my favorite liner brush, which is the MAC 210. Um, it's just a very thin liner brush, but these come with an angled synthetic brush. And when I apply them with that brush, they apply beautifully. They're very pigmented. They're rich. They're long wearing. They don't stain. I didn't find that they stained a ton like i wore the hot pink for the aventura concert um and it came off easy i didn't have any issues with it you know 
staining my lid thinking about it now but it is a beautiful vivid pigmented cushion liner it's stunning so i think if you're wanting to play with like neons or bold colors check her out i've got two lipsticks i'm gonna share and that's all i have for you guys the they're both from lisa aldridge so velvet morning which is a beautiful pigmented red orange let me show you guys I love the shade. I'm such a fan of a good red orange and her lipsticks are just phenomenal. They're so creamy, they're pigmented, um, they're long wearing and really they're just, they're worth every single penny. And then I have uh, Velvet Beauty, which is a really pretty rose shade and they're very opposite right you have your nude and then you have your fun pop of color i love all of her lipsticks but these are the two that i have been reaching for the most and velvet fun where is velvet fun i bet you it's in my purse she's high end she is luxury she is an artist who knows what she is doing so if you guys are wanting to splurge or treat yourself on a high-end lipstick i would highly encourage you guys to check out her line because she does a beautiful job her velvets are beautiful they wear very long they're not like if you kiss or if you drink something you're going to get um transfer they're not a matte or liquid lip in that sense but if you are wiping your mouth if you're eating you're going to have a stain and it looks like you just have freshly applied lipstick that you've blotted down and it really is worth every single penny that's all i have for you guys um we're gonna call this february and march because these items have been around for some time and i skipped february because my stupid laptop wasn't working i'm getting ready to do my room video my tour and as you guys can see i've made some changes i no longer have that painting of me in the background um, i'm really excited to show you guys what my room looks like i just have to kind of organize my vanity a little bit because it's a mess so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe leave a comment down below letting me know what some of your favorites are and if you have any recommendations for me subscribe like and leave a comment bye